How goes it, you two? I'm the president is now, but you can call me Prez. And since there is no time like the present, I am bringing you week six and seven of my Madden Ultimate Team series, Joe Webb, number 14. The title of this video is Joe's Got a Goon Squad. And really, he does. He really does. So here is my current lineup because I have not shown my current lineup. This is the lineup that I use in the next two games. Obviously, currently as I'm recording this, I do have a new lineup. Um, not not that new. Just obviously a new quarterback. Jeez, I mean, I'm finally fucking done with the uh, with my uh, Joe Webb series. So that's a big plus. And I also changed my uh, my wide receivers around. You know, got some new wide receivers, kind of upgraded them. Upgraded my cornerbacks. Um, D-line, I changed around. Linebackers and safeties. I mean, that's pretty much, that's pretty much my squad right there for a while. Um, nothing new. I'm not changing anything. And if you need some help at linebacker or safety position, I highly recommend those linebackers and safeties I was using. Yes, Clinton Dix is technically a free safety, but for some reason, he plays like a boss at strong safety. Uh, I don't know why, but I get a lot of user picks. If you've been watching my series, um, you'll see that, I mean, I get some pick sixes, some regular interceptions, and no, folks, no. It is not your connection that is causing the screen to lag. It is wow connection. So if you haven't already seen my video that I put out on for a day, I believe, if I'm right, this is 6, 7, so that would have been 5, yeah, Friday. If you haven't seen my video Friday, um, you need to go check that out. You'll understand what I'm talking about, that wow connection. That'll be pretty much my inside joke for it. Any video I put on here for the for the future, as long as I'm uh, continuing to use my service provider, and I don't even know what I'm doing, guys. I don't even really want to commentate over this video. I should just shut up. I should just shut up and watch and look at <gasps> that dude. Are you playing man to man? All right, man to man. Correct. Correct. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, yeah, he's playing man to man. But, uh, for some... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! I didn't even know that happened! God! How often do you get fumbles on a punt coverage play? Jeez! God! Knock the memory out of me! But here's that wow connection right there. I've been removed from a, uh, network timeout. Good old, good old. I think I was talking about internet before I got interrupted by Sean Cheese. What is up with cornerbacks hitting, guys? I don't get that. Why do they hit so hard? And it seems like it's Patrick Willis and Jonathan Joseph mostly. And right there, playing man-to-man. -man. Should have beat man, but it didn't because it's fucking Madden. Um, so, man, we're dropping picks. Um, yeah, I just a panic attack, and I just threw it. And incomplete. So I punt to him. Or no, it was turned over to him, and then he punts to me uh so yeah now i have the ball and i'm trying to make something happen uh it's just not really working out we got brandon oliver though god how many blocks did he shed i'm not blocked for god i don't even know what i'm talking about how many tackles did he shed um i forgot what i was saying um oh yeah um yeah so why the fuck is this dude wearing Browns uniforms at the Chiefs Stadium? Honestly, in my opinion, I think the Chiefs Stadium, top five ugliest stadiums in the game. Uh, number one would probably have to be, I don't know, Miami Dolphins is definitely up there. Gee, I'm glad he didn't fumble. Um, I, yeah, Miami Dolphins is definitely up there somewhere up in the mix of, of the ugliest uh, stadiums. Trying to think of some other ones off my top of my head. I would say Oakland, but I like Oakland just as much as I like Joe Webb running to the outside. I'm going to miss that, but I won't miss his shitty ass throws. All right there, we get a nice pick right before half. We very, very much needed that. So we're just going to go ahead and run the ball. And 
What is up with these fucking rain and block sheds, dude? I don't appreciate that. Luckily, I'm still in field goal range, so I did get it. And can I bait him? Can I bait him? Let's all take a moment of silence for my users that were non-existent on both of these plays. Um, they lived a long life. A long life. A lot of user... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! We coming back from the dead! We came back from the dead! Oh, shit! The beast is alive! He is alive! Oh, break shit! Break shit! Oh, God! I baited the fuck out of that dude, man. Hold up, man. I should have done a replay of that. God, I'm over here rolling in my chair. I haven't seen this gameplay in a while. I didn't even know what happened. God. God. Hey, man. That nigga need to go to, like, Denny Vision or something. Boy, he needs some spectacles on that face. Where that dude wearing them Stevie Wonder glasses. Wearing them black-ass sunshades. My God. All right, well. We get the ball. And we're driving. We're driving on him. We get a good drive going, surprisingly. Uh, so we're up by 10. Uh, game's pretty much over. You know, the two possession game. Motion and dude out. Run a pitch. That way I can get that outside block nice and easy. So now it is a uh, tres. For all of you who don't know Spanish, that means three. That is a three possession game. And uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, the game's pretty much over. Uh, he heaves it deep, and Jonathan Joseph, what a lovely pick. I was reluctant to get him because his stats aren't incredibly great. Uh, 92 speed, like 89 acceleration, 85 zone. Like They're not phenomenal. Akib Talib, I love that dude, but he's 90 speed. So he's kind of iffy. I mean, they kind of balance out between the two. That is the current combination I'm running right now. Um, so, yeah, that's the end of the game. I hope you all enjoyed it. Look out for my very last episode will be this Friday. And until next time, guys, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'm the Presence Now, signing off.